Look, I just, I, at the moment, I think we're just sort of, if you like, biding our time, aren't we, till the new ownership starts. And, you know, I said before, people say, oh, you can't blame the Glazers for this, you can't blame the Glazers for that. You can absolutely put the success or lack of it in a sporting sense down to the owners. They haven't got a sporting director. They haven't got someone to say no to a manager that's strong enough to say no to a manager when they get a little bit of success like Eric Ten Hag did last year or when the other managers over the last four or five times have done it where they've got a little bit of power then they take over recruitment and they start signing players and then they start sort of getting bigger than they should do you know every other club has a really really sort of competent sporting department and it's down to the Glazers that they've not had a competent sporting department for 10 years to actually provide the leadership guidance and that strength sometimes to be able to make sure that the recruitment is spot on and precise and it's the hardest job in football getting recruitment precise but if you get it wrong 300 400 million at a time three four times in 10 years then that is just complete ultimate failure and that's down to the owners for not dealing with that and that's why Jim Ratcliffe's going to come in and all the reports say that he's going to take over the sporting department why do you think the Glazer family are going to allow someone to come in they're still the majority shareholders and let someone else take over the most important aspect of a football club, which is football, because they know they can't do it. So, yes, Eric Ten Hag should be doing better. Yesterday, obviously, you know, Martial playing up front was bizarre. Um, the, the style of play isn't there. The players need to do a lot better. Some of the performances individually and collectively are shambolic. That result yesterday is, to be fair, a disgrace and can't believe it. Well done to Bournemouth, but it should not happen. And... However, the continued 10 years of failure is down to them. And I, I ultimately, just need, we just need to get to a point whereby the, there is a competent sporting structure put in place that gives Manchester United a chance to be able to at least operate on the same level with the other clubs that they're up against in this league who have got fantastic ways of doing things.